me start this video by saying thank you for being here. And when I say you, I mean you all. My viewer base, my community, the people that watch my videos. Thank y'all for being here. Like, I would not be doing this without you all. So, I just want to extend my heaviest thanks to each and every one of you that watch my videos. But also, um, hey, subscribe to this here channel. This is my uh, second stream channel, and, you know, I stream. So, uh, hit that sub button if you don't mind. But yeah, for real though, like, all jokes aside, all memes aside, thank y'all for being here. Like, I really, really appreciate it. Now, why am I being so thankful? Well, as my Xbox goes off, well, my dear viewer base, I dedicate this video to each and every one of you that watches said video. I guess you could say that he was dying to use a detector. I'll leave that with you all to uh, cringe. But look, I do sincerely dedicate this video to, to each and every one of you. I do. But why am I saying this? Well, my dear viewer base, I posted a question on August 1st. And I simply asked, which is more entertaining? A calm four shot VSS encounter or an encounter of two 45 second long gunfights. And out of 50 people, and who knows if the question, I mean the poll rather, might still be up so you can go and answer it if you want to under, under the uh, communities tab or community tab rather. So the question once again, in case you forgot, was which is more entertaining? And I gave y'all two answers. A calm four shot VSS encounter or an encounter of two 45 second long gunfights. Out of 50 people, right? Out of 50 people, 68% of y'all said a calm four headshot VSS encounter. 32% said two 45 second long gunfights. People, when I woke up that next morning and I seen the responses on this here question, this made me smile. It made me smile. Like, I'm like, damn, these guys really think like me. So this, I, I, I interpret that, that response as, Jet, we like seeing you, you know, do what you love to do. And that is pull off silent headshots and then walk away like nothing happened. Yeah. That's that's this video. Right? I know I've can't I've stepped away from using the VSS because you know it got nerfed and there's other guns in the game. I'm looking at you, L86. But I just want y'all to know that the VSS still has a place in my heart. And even though I have grown and changed and evolved. You know what I'm saying? And as NoobTuber once said in my streams, or in my previous stream, um, I've grown more confident in my abilities and I don't wait three years for somebody to sit still and I headshot them. I mean, I want y'all to know that the old Jet is still here. He is. He just grew up a little bit. He hit, he hit puberty. AKA, he got killed by sweat so many times that he said, fuck it, I'm gonna... You know, 
to be aggressive myself. And also my brain grew like 15 times larger. And what's an example of that? Well, in a moment, you're going to see me walk up here and then, boom, I get pinged. What do I do? I go in the opposite direction. And there's a comment that someone put on uh, one of my videos. And they said, when, when you get pinged, do you ever think about, you know, well, okay, pause. Fancy letter 8914 said, when you run in a different direction after you've been pinged, don't you ever worry that you might run into the very player who uh hunting you? And I replied, every single damn time. But, you know, it's not all doom and gloom, right? Because you can look at the map and you can try to think, where did you get pinged from? It's better to think than to run like a headless chicken. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? So, in most cases, it's uh, it's probably because somebody's hunting you down. But, in like maybe four, maybe three times out of ten, it's because someone's near a loot event and they want to make sure that nobody's nearby. And you are the closest person that's nearby. So you can take that information and do two things. One, go and kill them. Or two, try to maneuver. But we're past that part of the video now, and look at that. I spot an alarm trap, and someone else tries to loot a car, and then hits the tower. So that is two strong indications that someone's behind me and to my left. But a tower covers me, but I'm also looking at this here barred house, and I'm like, it's open, but that alarm trap is still there. So, how to get out? I'm under the impression that he's still in here. But then I see the safe open. And I'm like, okay, that's weird, but it's probably best that I don't sit in front of that red house wearing a hat. Because, you never know. Somebody just might be looking at me with evil intent. Let me give y'all a dumbed down, very simple version of how I seen that guy. The flatness of a rock is a horizontal line, right? If you see anything that goes past the horizontal line, that's not a rock. It's the end of an H-bar T. Now here's something else. The flat end of a rock is usually straight, right? Rocks are kind of built in straight lines and shit. I mean, there's curvy rocks too, like the one you see right in front of me right now. But most rocks are flat on one edge. And players hide behind that one edge. But what happens when their head comes over? The semicircle. Airdrop incoming. Get ready.
stay alive when others know where you are. I dedicate this video to my viewer base. The people who watch my videos, the people that comment negatively on my videos and YouTube hides it because it's that damn negative. I dedicate this video to everybody who says, good job, Jet. So, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank y'all. And I get it, this is not no calm for a headshot encounter, but hey, it is still for headshots. So, to the 32% of y'all that are like, we like seeing 45 second gunfights, gunfights usually don't end in headshots because it's more like who gets hit the worst instead of who aims the best. You know what I'm saying? But in this case, roughly all the gunfights you got into kinda weren't gunfights. There were headshots. Except for the third guy with the HBRT. He could have really killed me if I was standing in front of the barred house for too long. But, like I said, the tower and the car alarm said, your ass better move. And so I moved. And by the way, those two guns you see in my back right now, those two guns are my favorite guns in the entire game. Sadly, they both got nerfed. Why, Debs? Why? Anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed because I made it just for y'all, and I'll see you next time. Peace.